Welcome to Turnright Machine Works. My name is Keith and today we're going to bring you up to date in the What's in Your Box Toolbox Giveaway. The last uh, video we had, Brenton and Daniel drove up and brought in this beautiful, beautiful wooden toolbox set to add to the giveaway. And, uh, and hence, I, I had to jack this up. I was feeling a little less than. <laughs> Um, we're we're going to be we're going to be adding some more tools. Uh, I have I don't know. We we've got probably seven eight items over there to bring over here and open up and add to the toolbox. We'll be uh, we'll be crossing off on the machinist tool list, and we'll be verbally talking a little bit about a couple things that uh, uh, we we might want to add here in the next. We have probably a couple weeks. I'm going to try to have the toolbox giveaway feature giveaway video uh, somewhere I believe the 6th or 7th is the week, the first weekend there. Um, I'm shooting for that. Last year I was a couple days past what my intended date was and it just it gets so hectic. Um, also we're going to be talking about uh, uh, judging and uh, votes for the nominees. The nominations are closed. I close them on my birthday, November 15th. Um, anybody that had one in prior to that, I, was, I, I went ahead and I created a page. And all the pages are on my website at turnrightmachineworks.com. And you can go in there and there's a, there's a category there of uh, uh, what's in your box toolbox giveaway and you drop down the window and you can see the nominations, the guidelines and all the tools uh, so far that have been uh, donated by the individuals uh, are, are all in there. I, I, I believe I'm up to date. Uh, if not, I will be adding anything that I missed along with this batch of tools that we're opening up right now. Um, also, I've got a couple new uh, pieces of swag. I'm up on my navy blue and my black brim hats, which will be the standard. I will talk uh, about my swag rack uh, later on uh, after we, we go through our opening and uh, the end of the video here. All right, let's start off with bringing over some items here and opening up and going through the tools and then after that then we'll go ahead and we'll get into uh, talking about uh, the nominations and also the judges. Okay this first box is really a reopen alright and we, we've seen this before and this is the package from uh, Bill De La Vega and he, uh, he actually had MSC resend out a new pack uh, of files and the uh, the case is perfectly sewn on the one side here that was open a little bit and all the files look exactly the same and I just wanted to make a, a, a note there and this is probably one of the items that we could probably use um, files for the second box. Uh, you know, now that we have two boxes to give away, some of the things in the tool list are um, were only marked off in relationship to one box. So if we can, you know, no matter what, I have whatever it's going to take to fill the tool list on this box here, and I may actually have enough to add in. Of course, I have, I have several other guys out there that, uh, you know, they're, they're waiting for this video right here find out what else is there. They want to help fill these things up before they're ready to go out. And uh, I'm very much appreciative of that. Thanks a lot, Bill, for you know taking the time. I know it was a little pain. We had uh, we had a little bit of an issue there with uh, MSC, but they, they did pull through. All right, I'm just taking these off the pile. Uh, just whatever's closest or whatever I happen to grab, there's no any order that I'm following. Um, this one here, really, it just says shipping department, blah, blah, blah. But right here it says outside screwball, so this evidently is from Chuck, and uh, we're going to go ahead and let's, oh, it has a little bit of rattling going on there. Let's see if we can cut this tape here. Ha <laughs> 
little painting project I see. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just take a tile indicator box here. That's a beauty. Well, that's some small stuff there. All right. I think this is uh, really it's uh, uh, fifty thousandths uh, is its range uh, by half thousandths uh, on the increments on the lines there. Um, it's actually from zero to ten all the way down. Uh, you know. Uh, but uh, you can work plus and minus on there. This is a real. Uh, uh, this is nice to uh, set up and, and be comparing components or parts. That's excellent. It's a nice piece there, Chuck. Thank you very much. Nice and cleaned up, and I like I like the feel of this. This is uh, it feels like it's been around the block, but it still feels uh, crisp and uh, nice. This is uh, this is Sterrett. It's an Oli Bagudi here, real nice. I like the way that they always had their texture in here um, on there. Okay, and here's the here's the centering head that goes with it. This looks nice and finished off here with the a radius on the end here. Sharpening stone. Hi Keith, uh, P.S. Keep teaching me. Items for the toolbox, Chuck. Outside screwball. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got in here. And I'm gonna... Nice wrap job, everything made it through it looks like without any damages. <laughs> uh, nice. This is a scraper set. And one couple of handles the handles have fallen loose uh, probably during the ride. Nice little case that comes in. The uh, the center of this board here is actually fit to hold each each piece here. Find the right handles for the right ones, I guess. Thank you, Chuck. That's uh, Mound Machinist Scrapers. One set of four tools. Very nice. Nice little uh, case here. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get a picture of this. And uh, it looks like we're, we're gaining on a, another square set uh, for the second box here and uh, another indicator. Excellent. Alright, we're moving on to the next one here. We grabbed this one here is from Canada. This is uh, Richard Butterell, I believe is uh, uh, his name. And um, let's see what we got in here.
Looks like a little drop smash here, but I don't think this is this is a pretty pretty serious wrapping job in here, so I don't really I don't know if this is the right way to open it, but I was able to open it safely here. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide out what we got here. Did wrap it up pretty nice to <clears throat> and the other end, the bottom actually has a note and I see I see a little piece down in here. Okay, it's actually one of the telescoping components here. Let's see. Uh-huh. It's the one that actually fell out of here, but I'm glad I found it. And if we line that up just like that. pin or something. I don't know if the rod is... I just don't... Oh, okay, there it is. All right. The rod may not be long enough in this piece right here. And that's why it fell out. Rest of them all seem to be fine. I'm a, I'll take a look at that. If it needs a little bit longer rod there, I'll see what I can do about it. The components are all here and the spring head is there and I'm, I'm glad I actually caught it in the bag there. So uh, I'll, take a, I'll take a look at that, Richard. And we'll, But that's a, that's a telescoping uh, gauge set all the way up to six inch from half inch. And here's a nine piece punch set. These are nice short stubbies and it actually the, you need you need stubbies because sometimes the, the long ones, so many times I've had to, I, I, you need a, a good impact and the longer you make a punch, the more springy it is on, on the actual contact of it. It's a lot of times I think the stubbier ones, if you can use a stubby, use it because you're gonna have less deflection on the uh, impact there. Alright, I'm going to uh, see if I can get into this without too much damage here because I don't know what I'm actually seeing in here or not seeing in here. Tilt box. Set the angle on table saws, band saws, miter saws, and more. Plus or minus 0.2% uh, accuracy. The B, B All Tool Company. That's pretty cool. Oh, it, uh, it's magnetic. Three sides there. This this plastic here. That's kind of cool. Um, not the back, but the side to side and the angle, so you could actually you could stick it on something. That's a nice uh, nice addition there.
just wasn't getting away. <laughs> There we go, nice little air nozzle, little diffuser right there. Pair of vice grips. Thank you very much, Richard. We'll, we'll get that uh, labeled up there. And thanks for adding to our toolbox. Congrats, Keith, on another toolbox giveaway. I am glad to help out. Keeping the world going one job at a time keeping it real 24-7. Regards, Richard Butterell. Hey Richard. Alright, um, we got uh, Stan Zinkowski. Zinkowski? I don't think there's an L in there. Alright, hope I pronounced that right, Stan. Little decimal chart, which is uh, nice and nice and handy. There looks like he's he's uh, laminated these here. Very nice. Hi, Keith. Uh, first off, I would like to say thank. I think the toolbox giveaway you host is very worthwhile project. Our upcoming generation needs to know that once these skills aren't being passed down anymore they are lost forever. Your channel and the inspiration it offers to today's youth gives me hope. The angle square kit enclosed is shop made from Sterrett uh, 01 tool steel machined hardened tempered and ground and left uh, right pairs. The 4590s uh, are good for general use and the 9030s are handy for grinding threads, tools, and, and threading setup. I would like to say that these squares are made in the U.S. from U.S. source material. However, I don't know where the mahogany came from. <laughs> if you would like some squares of your own to try out around the shop, tell me what size you're interested. Uh, you'll get I'll get you fixed up. I am always interested in learning how people are using my squares around the shop. I keep a small YouTube channel to support my shop made items. I can be found at channel uh, Shannon S H A D O N H K W. Pop by and say hi if you think uh, if you get a break in your busy day. In closing, I want to say I love watching how your mind works and your problem solving you do, you do with fixturing, work holding, setups, etc. Keep up the good work, Stan. Thank you, Stan. All right, let's uh, take a look at these squares you got in here. And uh, I'll take that off, off of there. Um,
it was problem solving just getting open here. <laughs> a nice, nice case. Um, nice uh, little branding there. Very nice. I did pop on your uh, your channel there, and you do have really nice work displayed in there. And these these are beautiful. Uh, he's got his own little marking and stamp there. Very nice. We we'll get a good close up on that. All right, here uh, Ryan Washila. I believe is the pronunciation there. Uh, Dennis, Illinois. I have been enjoying your videos and wanted to send a few items which I hope you can use for the toolboxes you are giving away. The calendar is for you. I hope you enjoy it. I can't believe how much I've learned from you and the others via YouTube. I am close to getting an Arbor an Arbor done for my small horizontal mill. I made to help practice some of the machining I've learned, including how to work around mistakes by thinking through them. Keep up the good work, Ryan. I.L. Gopher on YouTube. I.L.G.O.P.H.E.R. I believe. Cool, Ryan. Thank you. And uh, and I did, I did need a uh, a calendar, 2014 machinist. Hey, hopefully I can have my. Uh, my tool post running here <laughs> going here soon. Every time I see something like that, it reminds me that I got that project and I uh, just got to get around to it. I appreciate that. All right, let's see what you got in your boxes here. Stare it set. Ah, another little, uh, this is a federal here and actually sealed back. I like that. That's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty close to, it looks like 30, 30, 40 thousands, maybe 50 thousands. There, let's see. About 40,000 travel, federal indicator. 
nice little test egg. Inside spring calipers, Lufkin Tool Company. There's a reference tab, National Fine Tap and Drill, National Special, Decimal Equivalents, Scale off the side here, General Hope Hardware. Ta -da -ta -da. Machine is square. And save the little one for last there. Telescoping gauge set here, all loose. That's very similar to the one that uh, we opened with Richard there that we had the prop, the pin in it. That's kind of neat. It, it's uh, it's an odds and ends set there, so I think uh, I'm not even going to mess with it. I'll, I'll I'm going to go ahead and and uh, put them in there where they uh, they can be used there. Yeah. I find I find that sometimes on the imports and this uh, because I, uh, I I use a set of imports uh, quite often now I've worn out a set of stairs not because I've abused it just because I actually physically wore them out because I use them all the time I really do like snap gauges you get used to them and uh, they're, they're a great way to grab the inside measurement of uh, the, just like right now awesome. there two fluter very nice shoot me there's a uh, quarter inch two fluter very nice there's a carbide and it looks like seven sixteenths and it's a straight side there it's actually um, uh, I want to say uh, key cutter. Um, I've lost it, but I've seen the straight sides before. All right, wiggler or center finder. Of course, it's probably been tightened with it in the, the uh, spindle. Here's uh, another holder here and your ball attachment. Couple more short reach spring gauges. All right, let's get a picture of this. Very nice, Ryan. Thank you very much for contributing to the box. All right, our next uh, package here is from Lowell Johnson, Tremble. Montana, I believe, MO. Um, Toolbox giveaway. Okay, let's see. We don't need, I think this tab will rip across here, maybe, if you get the tape off the end of it. Mr. Keith, I would like to donate one of these engineer black book to the 2014 Machinist Tool Chest giveaway. The second one is for you, if you do not already have one. 
I am an aircraft mechanic and new hobby machinist and I like having information readily available. This is one of the reference books in the top of my toolbox. I use this quite often. I've seen some of your videos and think that you are very intelligent and giving of yourself and want to thank you for your contributions. Thank you sincerely, Lowell Johnson. Thank you very much, John. I mean, uh, Lowell. Data sheet, formulate, reference table, equivalence charts, engineers. Common conversions, imperial to metric, metric to imperial. <laughs> That's a good subject, right? Thank you very much, Lowell. All right, let's get a let's get a picture of that and. Uh, and I think I'm going to be putting one in each of the boxes here. Um, excellent. All right, this is from uh, Becky Kraus. Atkins, Virginia. Joey Holman. So the name on the box fooled us. <laughs> uh, Keith, I've only recently discovered your videos, but want to say how much I enjoy them. Perhaps it's due to how much they remind me of me of when my father's business started as he opened up a little job shop in a garage behind our house back in the 70s. Much like I see in your videos, he had a lot of machinery crammed into a small amount of space and many of the little tricks and day-to-day -day idiosyncrasies I see in your shop. I finally remember from that little garage when I was a kid. Years ago and the company has grown considerably. After a couple of moves we finally ended up at our present facility in our local industrial park with about 50 employees and a couple dozen CNC machines as well as a large manual and fabrication area. I've been working with my father for 25 years now and cutting metal is all I know so maybe it's a little strange that I would go home in the evening and enjoy watching your machining videos. I think perhaps it's, it's the thought of going back to that little shop and garage and being free from stress and headaches much larger company appeals to me now. <laughs> Headaches of a much larger company that appeals to me now. Uh, skills machinists are becoming harder and harder to find in our modern world so I think your toolbox giveaway are a truly wonderful thing and opportunities to get others involved in learning such a valuable trade is very important so I like to contribute a few spare items to furthering that cause. I appreciate all the time and enthusiasm you put in your videos and into giveaways like this. Joey Holman. Thank you very much Joey and uh, and uh, congratulations on working with your dad for 25 years too. I've worked for my dad over the years uh, time to time mostly when I was young and it takes it takes a special bit to, to work with your dad. All right, um, let me get the bulk out of here, and then uh, I can get rid of the box here. Very nice wrapping job here. All right, where do we start? Well, let's take this one here first.
perfect. Zero to one inch steroid indicator. I have worn out several of these in my days. Excellent. I actually have two that are in my drawer now. I, I keep saying I like to send them out, but they never go anywhere. It's too easy to go ahead and pick up something that's a little less expensive and trash it out without whining. <laughs> okay. We got a cocoon here. There's a steric test indicator right there. What is that light? You said you said a few extra things. <laughs> um, yet that's pretty awesome. All right, there's uh, <clears throat> there's two items right now that uh, we needed to actually uh, help out on the uh, on the extra box and fill in the same machinist tool list. I think uh, needs to be filled. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> um, I was just I was just talking with James Green. We've been texting back and forth. Actually, he's been really wanting and chomping at the bit of, you know, what can he help fill in the gaps. Uh, and uh, one of our conversations was that we hadn't had a machinist handbook, DVD, or an actual physical book. Uh, so there's there is another item. In fact, I'm gonna get out my pen here and be scratched. I mean, each each thing we've been opening, I've been jotting in on the tool list uh, of things that are helping and out. And uh, but I'm just kind of trying to shorten up the video so we get a little bit more, uh, a, a little less editing time and a little bit more uh, uh, or quickly moving time. I should say on opening up some stuff here. Thank you very much, Joy. That's. Uh, I, I like when it kind of hits home of, of the tool list and kind of lets me know that you were thinking along the line of building a box. It's Upside down, huh? Millimeters and inches, twelve inch. Very nice set. Got a good feel to it. Last calibration was two thousand seven, but uh, it doesn't doesn't mean there's still right in the they really do feel good really nice Joey I'm gonna I just don't want to accidentally close those on anything there so I'm just gonna go like this just to put them in the case here sometimes that case actually shuts it up the uh, spare battery in here And of course, if I would have saw that on the top there, I probably wouldn't have opened it upside down or the way I did open it, you know, 
Awesome. All right, let's get some uh, shots of this. That's an excellent uh, ad addition to the box there, Joey. Thank you very much. All right, uh, this one here is from James Alden. He's up in Rockport, Maine. Greetings, Keith. Here are two books that are that every young person should have for their box. I'm a big fan and watch the new videos as they come up. I want to congratulate you on the box giveaway. It is a wonderful thing you are doing and I hope it goes to a young person who will treasure it for life. I am a horological machinist and you and Tom have inspired me to start my own channel called The Village Clockmaker. I hope to have it up by the first of the year and share what I know about clock making once a week. Thanks again for your dedication to spreading the knowledge. Cheers, JL. James Alden Lee, the Village Clockmaker, Rockport, Maine. Hey, looking forward to uh, your videos, James. Uh huh. Yeah, we're just talking. <laughs> and here we go. Here's, I'm just going to pull this out of that there. And Machiner's Handbook, 23rd edition. There we go. And now we have a Machiner's Handbook for each of our boxes. And we've got another book in here. trying to keep the peanuts in the box here. The Guide to Manufacturing Machine Shop Practices, Machine Shop Trade Secrets. James A. Harvey. Why not make chips like an expert? <laughs> All right. Excellent. All right, we'll get, uh, we'll get pictures of that there, James. Thank you very much. All right, here's our here's our last one to open up here uh, for this video here and Harvey Bieber. Harvey's in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Dear Keith, I'm so pleased that you have the Toolbox Giveaway because it gives people like me a chance to do something for kids who love the trade. I have always loved machining and mechanical work. My dad worked for the railroad and when I was a little boy he told me bedtime stories about how train engines worked. That was the spark that gave me the love for machine work. I believe your efforts in the Toolbox Giveaway will inspire a young person to love and enjoy the trade as much as you do. I watch your videos faithfully and have great respect and admiration for your create, creative skills. I wish you continued success and my best to you and your family. Regards, Harvey Bieber. Harvey from Nebraska. Binks 166. All right, Harvey, let's see what you put in here.
Alright, it looks like some more telescoping gauges, which is always a good thing. Uh, you know, I have I have short ones and I have stubbies, and uh, you, you have cases where you need to have both of them, and that's really nice. These, these actually, uh, yeah, this is Starrett brand. Cool. Okay, I can read through this package here. Uh, Keep these these inserts are for you. Got to peek real quick. <laughs> the box says the same brand I use, I believe. Yep, Sandovic. Exactly. Okay, now these are. Uh, MGs, huh? You want to see me use more negatives, huh? <laughs> They're all negative, but I meant the uh, the geometry stout. Thank you very much. We'll be putting those to use. All right, back to the giveaway. Adjustable parallels. Starrets. Very nice. You know I might have I might have that one there. I might be able to slip in. <clears throat> I'll have to check my collection. Because there was some in um um Lolo's uh box there we opened that started this whole thing and uh, because I, I like that I, I'll add that in there this one uh, that's one thing we didn't we didn't get a lot of parallels of course we don't need big thick heavy parallels because you know we got to ship this thing around so I, I like the lightweight or uh, these are these are a nice set I like that Okay, we got some, uh, looks like some long drills. We got a couple taps in here. There's got to be some kind of a specialty. There we go. There's a live center. Number three, Morris Taper. hole gauges up to half inch from one eighth to half inch radius gauge set very nice yeah I think that that is a 164th I'm missing on my own uh, set. And I figured that's what went up there, but uh, all right. I like that. And I think uh, this looks like three inch micrometer, which we're missing to complete a second set, I think. This is a two to three. Brown sharp. 
Very nice. Brown and sharp, but it almost feels like a uh, a Starrett, the older style Starrett. Very nice. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to get a picture of all this. Thank you very much, uh, Harvey. <laughs> Almost forgot. It actually, um, it, it wasn't until I came around that I actually noticed that I just set this box down there and and, uh, and we didn't open it because I was en engulfed in the rest of it here. Um, this is awesome. Here's another, here's another depth mic, which... Uh, this is an Oli Lufkin. Well, it's got a nice feel to it, too. Um, and the other two chimes are in here. Three inches, overall three inches has been a comfortable size for me. I have, I have one that goes up to like six, but most of the time, most of the time, your most common is zero to one. And uh, you're always grabbing that. Uh, this also which you don't see too often. I can feel it in here. I'm not going to open it because this, uh, this paper is kind of old, but this is the ball attachment that goes on the end of it. I said micrometer or, or anvil spindle, so... Um, It's got the Lufkin name on it and it's in here. A couple of your wrenches in here for changing your, fixing your barrels. Excellent Harvey. There's another there's another item that uh, we needed to create. Just that one more step to complete the two boxes for this year. Excellent. Everybody's everybody's contribution is overwhelming. I, I, get, I get engulfed in one thing or the other. It's hard, it's hard to, uh, to, to look at so many tools. I mean, I look at mine every single day, but the generosity is overwhelming and, and I, I get, you know, like this uh, because everything is kind of neat and unique in its own way and every manufacturer of every tool uh, and what you've seen over the years, actually some of the stuff that comes in and some of the older stuff and, and you hold it and you pick it up and, and you feel it and, and you, can, you, you remember. You remember one you had or you remember uh, one you borrowed. Um, you know, a lot of the old timers, um, it, you know, they had some really, really nice tools and when you picked them up and felt them, you, you, felt, you felt a personal feel to them. Um, when you get something new, you got you got to create that personal feel, and sometimes it takes you a little while to round it off and everything else. How many people just grab a, a six-inch pocket scale, and you don't really like that pocket scale until after it really it stops snagging, and I mean it starts sliding into your pocket and stuff. That's the kind of that's the kind of feel I'm talking about. It doesn't feel new anymore. It's 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 got the I think it's just you, you got the finger. Uh, um, lapping in it or whatever it's it no longer is snagging I mean if it does snag now you know that it has a uh, a raised edge on it or, or a burr or it got smashed or scratched or dropped um, um, anyway thank you very much Harvey and, and uh, <laughs> I I can't believe I walked around and I go you know what we didn't even open that up um, anyway really grateful thank you Okay, uh, we've opened up everything that we got here, and I'm just going to kind of, um, kind of go down through the list that I know that we we may be uh, needing that uh, we can probably get in here in the next week or so. Um, <clears throat> we didn't really mark down anything on uh, papers, pencils, and sharpies and stuff like that. Those kind of little things right there, I can throw that, fill that in there real quick. Um, center punches. Uh, I didn't really see a, a definite good center punch coming in surface gauges you know last year we had several surface gauges I think I have one that I'll be adding in there but if somebody can come up with another surface gauge it would be great 
um, depth mic set. I said one to six in the tool list here. Um, most of the time that one by three set was perfect. If somebody can come up with uh, something else to give us another depth uh, mic set, uh, they'd be grateful. Thread pitch gauges, uh, just regular, you know, thread pitch gauges, metric and, and standard. Uh, we're short on those. Um, uh, side cutters or dikes, um, we could use a pair of those. Uh, screwdriver, Phillips or flat, uh, just minor, minor things that uh, uh, we're missing. Uh, there's a couple things I, I have marked for whole gauge set, snap gauge set. Uh, we did we did get several set snap gauges, so uh, we have some miscellaneous. I think I'll be able to piece those together. Um, we only got one fishtail um, uh, center gauge for threading, one Acme uh, thread gauge, um, Wiggler or center finder. I think we now have. I think we have two of those now as well. Um, mill or files. We have one nice set of files. We could use another set of files, uh, uh, very similar to what uh, Bill uh, added in there. That was a real nice set there. Uh, deburring tools, um, like a quick burr or whatever. I have a couple of those I can throw in there, but if somebody wants to send in one of those. Jewelers files, um, I think we got more than, I, I think I actually have those sitting on the side there as well. Inspection mirror and uh, small flashlight, haven't seen any of those. Uh, magnifying glasses, really haven't seen any of those. Um, nice chisel, haven't seen one of those. We don't have hacksaws marked at all. Uh, brazing, braze tool bits. Uh, we didn't see any of those. No center drills. Uh, there might be one or two, but there's not like a, a you know a center drill uh, set. You know, like just two or three of them there for like uh, number uh, three, four, and five, something like that. Uh, counter sinks. Uh, really don't have any of those marked down. Um, one eighth parallel set. We got one wide set. Uh, one, two, three blocks. I have, I believe I have a couple of those that I can throw in there. But these are things that can be topped off. The main thing that was really great today is actually I like to see we got a machinist handbook in each one of those boxes now. We have uh, also, you know, I mean, I don't have one and I'm not going to open or I'm not going to take one of these. We got two people here uh, and hopefully we got, we got, um, uh, a lot of years going forward on on who's receiving those boxes and that's kind of my biggest hope and I, I know by reading everybody else's notes and and everything else everybody that has contributed to this toolbox and we're going to get into that now who who's going to be the judges for uh, receiving the best worthy nominations. Everybody that contributed to the tools are automatically judges. All you got to do is email me in with two names. We have two boxes, two names out of all the nominations on my web page and I'll roll the nominations on the video here but you can also log on to TurnRightMachineWorks.com and go to 2014 Toolbox Giveaway Nominations and there is the list of nominations. Their pages are there. Go through, look at their pages, watch their videos, read their stories, go to their links, make a decision, give me two names. I don't need a priority. There's not a not a first choice, not a second choice. It's two names, two choices, and that's what I'll accept. If you only write one, then I will throw your vote out. I need two names. Um, who else is going to be judges? This year, I'm going to allow anybody to be a judge. How can anybody Judge, pick two names. Go buy a postcard. I went and bought one this morning. It was 27 cents. Okay? And you know what? The biggest thing about buying a postcard is 
deciding what you want on a postcard. Um, and I went down there and they had fabulous pictures and all that, but that, by the time I got done looking at postcards, I had four in my hand trying to decide what it was. And then I found this one. It had a picture of all of them. So, <laughs> I we're getting off beat here, but, um, you know, it, it, it doesn't take nothing. Um, I'm serious about giving a toolbox away. These guys are serious about giving tools in the toolboxes to give away. You want to be a judge, let's be serious. Get a postcard. The reason why I want a postcard is because, one, I like to see things from other places. Two, your name and address is going to be right here. And three, this is going to be a, a ballot. And it's also going to be a drawing card. While Vanessa and I are doing the giveaway this year, I'm going to draw postcards for giveaways. All right? So you can be a judge for this year's giveaway by picking two choices. Put them on the back. Mail me a postcard. And if it gets here in time, you should have time. Okay? Drawing's going to be a couple weeks away. All right? I need all the way up to the last day, the last mail day before the drawing. So if you get them in here, I think the 6th and 7th is when I want to have the, the, the video and give away the boxes. I need to have by that Friday, Friday, if, it, if we're postponed one day, whatever it is, Saturday, I'll get mail. But, and I'll tally them all the way up to the last minute. All right? You want to vote for the toolbox giveaway and make your two choices. And don't give me a number one, number two. Just give me two. Just two names on the back. All right, All right so you can be a judge and a contender for a free drawing, uh, which uh, I'm not just going to have one draw, okay? I'm going to be drawing a lot of these, the, but if I only get one, I guess I'm only going to be drawing one. Uh, you'd be a sure draw, but uh, you want to be a judge you're gonna, and, and, and have your calling card in there for a free tool giveaway or uh, swag giveaway. Send me in a <clears throat> send me in a judgment there for your your choice of worthy nominations. All right, let's let's talk about my swag. I have a couple new items here. I'm I am going to switch over to navy blue, and I I I'm actually I'm wearing one of my sand uh, what's in your box shirts here. I wear them on a daily basis. Um, I've actually I'm my own test model for my fabric Gildan the the manufacturer of my shirts is is really really does a nice job and I like their their product and it's been wearing really well um, I put two of my hoodies um, you saw me put those in through uh, working on uh, on the crane job and working a few other jobs there okay and I did pull out the strings so they weren't a hazard <clears throat> but they were I had two of them and uh, they're still going to this day I wore one the other day um, hats I have I've only had two hats myself one navy blue which is here and I had one black brim for two years I wear these. Actually, I had I I actually had three hats. Okay, one never made it long enough to get washing. I was uh, out at lunch, and I always I only take my hat off to eat, shower, sleep, and put on my welding hood. Pretty much, after, other than that, I am wearing a ball cap. Um, and I wear it. I have I had two of them, and one goes in the laundry. And the other one I'm wearing. Then you know the next week that one. So I I throw these in a wash all the time. So you're wondering about hey how how do they handle and wear and everything up? Two years old, and I don't have to sit there and adjust them or, or any of that. Okay, uh, get back to uh, the hat here. I just wanted to emphasize the wash and wear ability that these hats can go through and the punishment that I personally take on a hat uh, even the leather band in the back here uh, handles 
nicely to the wash, okay? So my hats get washed, I, I would say on the average, about once every two weeks. For two years, two hats uh, have been going through that. Um, we're going to be fading out of uh, the, the sand colored items and switching over to uh, the navy blue. The navy blue over black just because my logo and the black micrometer doesn't show up good on the black. And we've, we, the advanced embroidery and myself have gone through and we've been playing around with some of the color options and uh, this is what we're going to settle on. This is the back logo on all of my shirts, the what's in your box or the new get her done shirts. Um, right now the inventory for the new blue is made up of what I sell mostly out of the shirts over the last year. The sizes that are missing will be filled in when the sand color is depleted. I've also taken everything in the sand color and discounted it down and they will be their, their collector's items now because I'm not going to be having the sand colors uh, manufactured anymore. So um, and I might have some khaki shirts uh, made in the future just because I do like to switch back and forth between the navy and they're on, on that style work shirt. It, it, it does, they are really nice shirts, uh, but I do have those on sale as well. Um, so. I have limited supply right now of the navy blue only because I my budget only allowed me to pick up a certain amount. I do have 50 each of the navy blue ball caps and, or the black brim ball caps. All right, all right. Um, I should have another video uh, with the toolboxes just catching any straggling uh, uh, tools that come in and. Uh, We'll just be working on the special day of giving the toolbox away and uh, getting Vanessa geared up to come out and help me on that and uh, find our Santa Claus hat. I want to thank each and everybody that has participated in, in giving to the box giveaway. It is, it's, it's over the wall. Um, anything from a beautiful box like this to the uh, homemade um, mill stop there that Colin made. Hey, you know, it's it just, you know, the Machinist Calculator Pro. I, there's a lot of good stuff that's come in here this year and it's just unbelievable. I mean, last year was unbelievable. Um, I'm glad that we had the video entries this year because you can put a face to that person and you you get to know a little bit more about that person okay um last year's winner nominated by kevin a past year and uh you know not hearing anything from him or uh anything about the youth that won the box uh you know is pretty pretty ill um Anyhow, this year I've got a really good feeling on this and I can't wait to the giveaway day and it'll be coming soon. All right, we're planning uh, 6th or 7th of December in that, in that ballpark range there uh, as, a, as this week here closes down and gets close to uh, Thanksgiving time. Um, uh, I'll pretty well have everything all final. Um, I got wiring out here to possibly do this um, uh, live. I, well, <laughs> I hope to. We'll see. All right. Uh, I didn't check the mail this morning, so while we were all in here doing the box giveaway, I had a, a piece show up in the mail here. And uh, uh, this is from Tom Bellis. So he it made it just in time for this late addition to the video here I'll I'll add it on uh, to the end uh, here as you're watching it right now and uh, I could let it go on we have a late uh, item on its way right now um, from Bruce uh, Australia and uh, so I was gonna wait but uh, decided to go ahead and open up Tom's now as well 
Hey, well, what we were talking about, we were just saying that the box needed a flashlight. Um, that's uh, pretty, every, everything going LED right now. Um, that's, that's cool, Tom. All right, uh, let's, let's see what's in here. You always need a a couple small hammers, toolbox giveaway. Um, I am so proud of you for giving back to the trade that it will hopefully give someone a chance to learn and enjoy the craft as much as the rest of us have for so many years. The punches are for you if you don't have a set or if you can put them in one of the boxes. Thank you. That wooden box will be a truly great gift for a deserving candidate. Tom Bellis. Uh, he says, I had to put a bolt in the handle of the brass hammer. Uh, repair I have had to do before over the years. Drill, tap, epoxy to keep the split in check. Oh, that's nice. Well, we were just talking about uh, awesome, awesome, Tom. Definitely uh, a need be, and um, there's a nice set of punches. For use on roll pins only. I thank you very much. All right. There's a couple items there. Let's uh, let's fill out uh, Tom a uh, paper there. Get a photo of it, and um, we're gonna call it an evening. I've already I've already got one of my uh, sweatshirts on. Been out checking the chickens, and uh, they're they're bedded down. And I was just checking my wood in the shop here and um, uh, rendering video footage as we speak and we'll add this to it. Uh, so, get her done. Okay, here's the nominations for the 2014 Toolbox Giveaway. Let's go ahead and close this video up and until the next box giveaway, get it done.